Hello guys, this is NR Trayman here. Today is Sunday the 1st of April 2018. Today is a special day for Northern Ireland Railways. On this day, 50 years ago, Northern Ireland Railways was formed on the 1st of April 1968. Today, uh, in this video, I am going to give you a brief history of the rolling stock which is ran on the railways of Ulster under the Northern Ireland Railways branding. First, we're going to take a short ride on the next train round to City Hospital to film two Enterprise trains. The next train is the 1525 to Bangor. It should be here in about one minute. And we're going to ride this around the City Hospital. And at City Hospital, I will give you the history of the rolling stock which has ran on Northern Ireland Railways during the past 50 years. Here's our train to City Hospital. 3000 class DMU, number 309. With the NIR 50th anniversary logo on the side of it. And as I said at the start, we're going to ride this train to City Hospital. For now, departing Great Victoria Street, which is currently the main terminus station in Belfast. The next stop will be City Hospital. Translink NI Railway Service to Bangor. This train calls at City Hospital, Botanic, Belfast Central, Titanic Quarter, Sydney, Hollywood, Marina, Coltrawl, Sea Hill, Helens Bay, Carnally, Bangor West, and Bangor. In the interests of passenger safety, your attention is drawn to the following safety information. Passenger alarm units are located at each door. They should only be used in the event of an emergency. Please read the instructions alongside each of these devices. In the event of an emergency, please follow staff instructions. present on the Northern Ireland Railways Network, there are currently 54 stations. And on like original rolling stop on Northern Ireland Railways, the new CAF units were the first units on the network to get PIS systems, passenger information systems. And we're now arriving at City Hospital. As you can see, this road over here, which is the up road, has recently went through some ballasting work. And 309 is about to depart for Bangor.
So we're now at City Hospital Station. This part of the line that we're on at the minute between Great Victoria Street and Belfast Central is actually known as the Belfast Central Railway. There's currently four stations on this section. Great Victoria Street, here City Hospital, Botanic and then Belfast Central. As I mentioned on the train, there's currently 54 stations on the network. And now I will give you the history of the rolling stock which has ran on the Northern Ireland Railways during the past 50 years. In the early days of Northern Ireland Railways, the first rail cars which ran with NIR were the AEC rail cars. These units came in from the UTA. The UTA was the company that Northern Ireland Railways replaced. The UTA rail cars, or AECs as they were known as, entered service in 1948. They lasted until 1972. For a brief period in the early days of Northern Ireland Railways from the start, Northern Ireland Railways actually ran with steam traction. The steam locomotives they used were the WT class locomotives, better known as Jeeps. There's currently one Jeep still in service, and it's with the RPSI, the Railway Preservation Society of Ireland. The last of the Jeeps were withdrawn by NIR in 1971. The next class of multiple units that ran with Northern Ireland Railways was the BUTs. They entered service between 1956 and 1958, and they lasted until 1975 to 1980. Some of them were converted for use on local haul trains in their final days. The next class of unit was the MEDs. These entered service between 1952 and 1954, and they lasted until 1973 to 1978. They were mainly used for local services around Belfast. The next class of unit was the MPDs. These came into service between 1957 and 1962 and they lasted until 1981 to 1984 and I can hear a train coming. The MPDs were mainly used for longer distance runs. They ran on the NCC network and they were used as well on the Enterprise. The next generation of class was bringing into the class that I started to grow up with, the Thumpers. The first Thumpers were the 70 class, and here comes a calf. So, after an interruption by not one but two calf units, we'll get back onto the fleet list. I will resume at the 70 class. They were the first thumpers to run on the railways of Northern Ireland. The 70 class entered service between 1966 and 1968. They lasted until 1986. When they were withdrawn, the engines from them were removed from the bodies and actually built into the 450 class. I'll get to more info with the 450 class shortly. Nowadays only one 70 class trailer survives and it's at the Downpatrick and County Down Railway and it's number 728. Here is a picture of it. There was a second 70 class trailer preserved, but unfortunately in 2002, I think it was, vandals broke into Downpatrick and they set fire to the place. Unfortunately, 
the 70 class driving trailer, which was there, was sadly destroyed. As well for the early units, the AECs, BUTs, MEDs and MPDs, none of them survived unfortunately. Mainly because they, they contained asbestos. Now we move on to the class of units which is my personal favourite and were probably the best class of DEMU ever to run on Northern Ireland Railways. It's the 80 class, a well known class. The 80 class entered service between 1974 and 1978. Originally, the 80 class lasted until 2005 when they were replaced by the 3000 class. But thankfully, a handful of them survived and were able to be refurbished and they re-entered service. I think it was in 2009. The refurbished sets lasted until 2011 in passenger service. Here is some footage of the 80 class in service. In later life, one 80 class set survived for use on NIR's Sandai train. That set has only just been withdrawn in recent weeks. I can now also reveal that it, the NIR has officially released the 80 class and the 80 class has now been passed on to the Downpatrick and County Down Railway for preservation. Moving on now to the 450 class, which was my second favourite class of units. The 450 class entered service between 1985 and 1987. They lasted until 2012. Here is some footage of the 450 class in service.
Nowadays, only one 450 class set survives, and it's unit 458, which is now at the Downpatrick and County Down Railway. Here is the unit in question. As I mentioned with 70 class, the 450s received the engines from the 70 class, apart from unit 459. That actually received an engine from an 80 class, which was damaged by an accident. The damaged 80 class was 80 class unit number 88. Moving on now to locomotives. The, one of the early diesel locomotive classes for express trains and passenger trains, as well as freight, that ran on Northern Ireland Railways was the Hunslets, better known as the 101 class. They entered service in 1970. They lasted until 1989. They were, their main use was on the Enterprise service. Today there is only one Hunslet survives, and here is a picture of the surviving Hunslet. The surviving Hunslet is number 102 Falcon, and as you saw, it's at the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum at Coltraw. The next class of uh, locomotive that ran with Northern Ireland Railways in the, early, in the early years was the Class 1, or DH class as they were better known as. They were a class of free shunting locomotives. They entered service in 1969 and lasted until 1989. I believe all three members of that class still survive, but not in Northern Ireland. I believe the class, well at least two of the class, I believe is in Sri Lanka. But I'm waiting to find out more info on this class and what lies ahead for them. An unusual vehicle which also ran with Northern Ireland Railways from 1981 until 1989 was an ex-British Rail rail bus a one-car vehicle based on the Leyland National Bus. The rail bus, the NIR rail bus, now survives at the Downpatrick and County Down Railway and here is a picture of it. Moving on now to a popular class of locomotive which is still in service for Northern Ireland Railways today. It's the 111 class. They entered service between 1980 and 1983. They are numbered 111, 112 and 113. The 111 have seen a lot of use on the Enterprise service during the days. But nowadays they are mainly demoted to just permanent way trains and rail tours every now and then. The 111 class are still a very strong locomotive and are still going well. They, st in my in my words, I think they still have at least in our 10 years in them. They are a fine class of locomotive and give a lovely sound and have full power.
the next class of locomotive, which is still in service with Northern Ireland Railways today, is the 201 class. NIR have two 201 class locomotives, numbered 208 and 209. As, as you can predict, they are in use on the Enterprise service. They entered service in 1995. There was also an XCIE class of locomotive, which ran with Northern Ireland Railways for a brief period. It was the C class, better known as the MV class by Northern Ireland Railways. There is several of C class locomotives still surviving, and the only operational one I know of is at the Downpatrick and County Down Railway, which is C231. None of them, unfortunately, are in the NIR livery, but here is a picture of the surviving C class. Finally, we move on to the current day fleet of modern day DMUs. The 3000 class and the 4000 class calf units. 3000 class entered service in 2004 and obviously there are 2004 to present. There's 23 members of this class. And in the 4000 class they entered service in 2011. And obviously they run to the present day and there's 20 members of that fleet. So that completes this look at the fleet which has ran with Northern Ireland Railways during the past 50 years. And I get interrupted by the announcements, or Anne as she's known as. And now we, before we leave here, we will film the two Enterprise services which are due. There's one in each direction and they should be here in a couple of minutes. The northbound Enterprise we are waiting for is running to the other path today due to engineering work between Drogheda and Dublin. So we're going to catch this train which is the 1613 to Port Rush around the Belfast Central 
and film that service there. This train is for Portrush. The next station is Botanic. After a couple minute delay due to a door problem, we're finally departing City Hospital. service is Botanic. This train is for Portrush. The next station is Belfast Central. This is Botanic. This station sees a lot of use by students attending the nearby Queen's University. The next stop for this train will be Belfast Central. By the way, the train forming this service is 4000 Class DMU number 4013. The next stop is Belfast Central. Please change here for Cross Border, Bangor, Portadown. Lauren Line Rail Connections and a bus connection to the city centre. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform when leaving the train. We're now coming into Belfast Central. Belfast Central's platform three. Here we are, back at Adelaide, after our run to City Hospital and Central on the day NIR turned 50. I hope you've enjoyed this 50th anniversary special to Northern Ireland Railways, and just like to inform you that the main event of this anniversary is happening this Wednesday coming. An RPSI train will be visiting Great Victoria Street. A 111 class GM will be hauling the train in Great Victoria Street at 10.30, and at 10.55, Recently restored Q-Class logo number 131 XGNR logo will be hauling the train out to Whitehead 
and that happens this Wednesday. <clears throat> anyway guys, so before I end this video, I'd just like to say, happy birthday Northern Ireland Railways. So for now guys, that's all for now, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.